Well, hello, everyone. Um, I want to thank you for uh, checking out our page on the Book of Romans. Um, you're probably interested in uh, maybe exploring and joining a small group. And so I just want to tell you about this upcoming semester at Crossroads. Um, as advertised, we're going to be going through the Book of Romans, um, that great book that was written by the Apostle Paul. And I want to encourage you uh, to sign up for a group. And there are groups taking place in a number of different neighborhoods. We even have groups meeting at the church. I believe there's one group online. And so just a great opportunity for you to plug in and grow in um, your relationship with God. And so that's usually kind of the primary reason why we want to grow, go to a group is that it's going to help us grow in our faith. Um, but it's also going to give us the opportunity to meet other people in the church and to connect. Um, and then also uh, you might have a friend that they may not necessarily want to come to church yet, but they might come with you to a Bible study. Um, they might come if you're the leader to open up your home and come there. And so uh, small group Bible studies become like another doorway into the church and a great way to contribute both as the leader of the group, the host of the group, and then the person who participates and goes. And so we want to have a record-breaking semester. And so I need you to do two things. First of all, I need you to be faithful and go to a group, okay? Um, everybody's busy. We understand that. Uh, but also everybody needs to belong to a group. And so obviously sometimes there's going to be conflicts that come up. We're not keeping attendance and legalistically throwing anybody out or anything like that. But make it your business. Make it a priority to join a group. That's number one. Number two, be praying about who you could invite with you to a group. Again, a great way for people to grow spiritually. And so I give a, just a, a wholehearted encouragement uh, to be a part of a small group. I'm going to be hosting one myself this semester. Uh, I really believe in the power of coming together with God's Word and fellowship and friends. Now, there's something else I want to tell you about, and that's the book of Romans itself, okay? Just a few moments on this. The book of Romans is a great book to study. I truly believe that if you study the book of Romans this semester, it's going to strengthen your faith. The book of Romans deals with transformation. In fact, that's the title of this entire study. And it's transformation by the gospel, ultimately. Now, some of you might think, oh, the gospel, that's just kind of the starting point of the Christian life. No, that's how we grow. The more we know of the gospel, the more we understand the depths of the gospel, the stronger we'll be in our faith. And so the gospel is not the diving board of the pool. It's the whole pool. And so we want to ask you to jump in, okay? Dive in this semester. Take every opportunity you can to grow in your faith, right? That's what we always say. Well, small group Bible studies is a major catalyst in that. And so check out uh, the different groups that might be going on near you. Um, if you need a group by you, let us know. Maybe you can host it. We'll get a leader over there. Um, but at the very least, pray and seek God about being in a group this semester. Grow your faith, get connected with other people, and leave the results to God. God bless you, and we'll see you at the Roman study.